right, Mike yeah. Kimball, yes, young sir. hustler. Welcome to New York City. New York, New York. <laughs> so uh, you went to uh, the UK and trained with uh, MVP for a little bit, no? Yes, yes. How put, was that? Put three hard weeks in there. It was it was amazing. You know, MVP. He's like a he's like a role model, big brother, inspiration, motivation, all in one. And not just MVP, London Shoot Fighters. Those guys are those guys are fucking talent. They're like they're almost like diamonds in a rough because they they're growing and they're developing and they're building to when they get on the scene it's over for a lot of people. Yeah, I mean they make movies about the toughness of, of UK fighters. So. Hey bro. The movies don't even explain it. We were going to war in there. I'm talking war. It was so, amazing. So for you, was that something to do to, to kind of open up your or add more tools to the toolbox after the last fight? I know I know it didn't go your way. 100%. You know, being across the pond, you know what I mean? Different culture, different way of life, different mindsets, different attitudes towards training. Obviously, different skills, skill sets, and a different environment, you know, outside my comfort zone. It was amazing. It, it's, I learned a lot, and I'm so thankful, so thankful. And I will be back there um, real soon after my fight. <laughs> well, one of the things, one of the things I think people, uh, uh, I, I don't think it gets enough exposure about you is, I mean, you're, for such a young dude, I mean, you, you were so focused. You, you knew what you wanted to do at such a young age. I mean, and you're going full throttle into the sport, fighting for Bellator. Um, the thing that impressed me with your last two fights that I saw out in Mohican Sun was how well read you were on your opponents. So what do you know about your opponent for uh, Friday? Uh, you know, you got to. You got to know what you're going in there with. You know, nobody ever went to war blind, and if they did, they weren't talked about in the history books. So he's, he's, he's tough, man. He's tough. He's durable. He's never been knocked out. He's wiry. He's got wiry strength, limp. He's, 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 he's kind of like myself. He's tall. He's skinny. Um, he's real limp. He loves to kick. He, he's, he's a, he's a, he's, it's fireworks. He brings fireworks to the table. He's, he's very good. Uh, Muay Thai, though. You mm -hmm. know, he's very, I, I feel, you know, and this is no disrespect, this is, a, yeah, I call it spade a spade. I feel like it's, it's basic, but it's tough. It's hard. It's yeah. hard to deal with. And a lot of people would break under those conditions, but not me. He's good at Muay Thai. He's got a good um, defense and jujitsu awareness. Uh, he may have good jujitsu. Might be working on his wrestling a little bit, you know, in case. You know, because I, people know, obviously, I'm heavy-handed. Maybe mm -hmm. he's going in there thinking, oh, I don't care. He's going to get knocked out. Or he's going in there, okay, let me get to the ground. So he may be working on wrestling, but what's a fact is he's got good Muay Thai. He's very good, and he's tough. And he's squirming. The, uh, the general uh, public, like the senior fights, um, the highlight reels, obviously, you mentioned being heavy-handed. Um, do you think that... Th that that uh, because of the last fight, people will think submissions are the hole in your game, even though, I mean, obviously you're well-rounded. No, 100%. The thing about, the funny thing about, like, society is, like, society, they kind of go with the wave. So like, a lot of people don't really think for themselves, and I feel like, yeah, maybe they might think that, but it's fine by me at the end of the day. What's talked about, thoughts, all of that, none of that shit matters. When we get in that cage, we're in that cage. Him and I. So, uh, one last thing. This is you. You quote a lot of Drake on your social media. Uh -huh. <laughs> obviously, yeah. with the with the stuff going on now, yeah, is yeah. that something you're gonna keep out of the headphones and out of the arena on nah, Friday? Nah, not for nothing. You know, I'm I'm low key a sensitive guy. You know what I'm saying? I always bump my Chris Brown, my Drake. I love I love I love soft music. Feel me? Like that that rah rah. I listen to some gangster shit too, though. But like that rah rah stuff. It's not really always my mood. I like to be calm and chill. So I got like Drake and Chris Brown, they just dropped a song. Finally, <laughs> they just dropped a song. I've been that's been on repeat for the past two days. But nah man, you know, all types of music. Like I bump Michael Jackson, you know, even shit, even some country songs. It's lit, you know, it's just I just I'm like um uh, kinda like a mystery. You never know what's gonna come. Like a young renaissance, man. I love it. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Ain't Good no luck problem. on Friday. Thank you. Okay.